this is our baby. This is our baby. We had a baby together. That's right. And Stefan and Damon had a baby together. What well, we look like brothers bonds? We look like that. <laughs> It's interesting that you guys have such this this close bond. I mean, even after working together for so long, what what is it about each other that makes that makes a especially a business partnership work? Because I assume that not not every friends could also be business partners. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I Ian and I always talk about our differences in a positive way. We're very yin and yang in the sense that uh, we we actually are very different people. I'm always negative he's always positive i'm glass half empty he's glass half full but I we think, balance each other yeah out. i think that is actually why we work well together because we introduce different elements that i think instinctively neither one of us would ne necessarily have so sometimes you know uh if i'm being too much of a pessimist he brings me up or if he's doing he's being unrealistic i'll i'll pull him down and so it's kind of this nice balance yeah I'm always like, let me at him, Uncle Scooby, let me at him, <laughs> you know? Um, but it, it is actually a really great balance. And to be honest with you, because, you know, we did a television show for so long together, it is like running a company. I mean, you you have, a, there's 130 people on that set every day that rely on you to be a pro and to show up and be a team, right? So even when you're tired or sick or you don't feel good, you got to show up and be a team and, and and as for business a lot of business a lot of time is spent tiptoeing around things um and obviously you have to be completely uh understanding and appreciative of everyone's you know perspective and workload and stuff but paul and i cut through shit like that if i have an idea that really is not going to work paul will literally look at me and go that's the dumbest idea i've ever heard and instead of getting all defensive i'll go Oh shit, you know what, you're right. Actually, that won't work. And so so we don't, there's nothing that we can say that's incendiary. Um, and that cuts through a lot of BS, you know? Yeah. That cuts through a lot of shit. I feel like that's rare in a friendship to have that, that you can be completely honest with each other and not not get offended, not get anything, just realize realize like, hey, maybe he's, maybe he's right. I, move I, on. and I, move like, on. I think life's too short. Everyone, you know, not to, we don't get to it too into it, but there's a lot of, you know, overly sensitive people these days. And I, for me, you know, it's like, I'll get angry, I'll get pissed, um, but it but it goes away. And and especially when it comes to business, I think it's all, you know, and, and friendships and relationships. I think it's extremely important to have conversations and move on, you know, and that's kind of like our MO, you know? Yeah, definitely. Kind of like a marriage, Paul. I mean, yeah. Have conversations and move I'm, through it. I, yeah. That's you guys it. have a marriage and a baby, so that you moved very. We have a marriage and a baby. <laughs> um, well, I assume that your friendship didn't start immediately being best friends and having this great thing. So, were you always? Did you guys always hit it off from the minute you met? Yeah, actually, oh, we actually, we did. It, it did. Yeah. yeah. There was well, no butting weird... heads. What's that? No butting heads. Not no, really. it's pretty wild. Like we knew we, you know, I know we've talked about this um, before, but you know, we we met. We, we met each other. We were at a fitting to get our for our fangs. We were in a dental office. We were in a dental office, and and I remember meeting him in the parking lot in, in Burbank early in the morning, and just saying, "This is the guy. This guy's gonna be my brother." Um, and I just walked up to him and just shook his hand and gave him a hug. I wasn't was, I wasn't convinced the show was gonna be a success, so I was like, "All right, I gotta, you know, we gotta work together for this pilot. Who knows if it'll get picked up? If it gets picked up, maybe it'll last a few, you know, season or something." And I was thinking, but, uh, I'm gonna have to spend the next five years with this. Yeah, guy. an I, eternal optimist, eternal pessimist, <laughs> right? I remember on the way to Vancouver, we shot the pilot in Vancouver. I was like, "You think the show's?" Remember, gonna... I was yelling at you on the plane. I was like, "You think the show's gonna be successful?" He's like, "What are you talking about? The <laughs> first it's gonna be." It's like, Twilight on TV. It's gonna crush. <laughs> And it's true, it did. Here we are almost 12 years later. <laughs> yeah.